Hi, I'm John Tabler, and in this video, we're going to talk about real food, and I mean really good food for you. Natural food, food that nourishes you and makes you healthy and well. And you know, we're natural, and therefore we can't get our food and our sustenance from unnatural sources, chemicals, synthetic sources, and things like that. We have to eat natural food, and you know, wheat is completely natural, and when you grind it, it turns to flour and that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today flour is the ground up grain and it has three parts in it it has the germ the bran and the endosperm and all of it has nutrients but the germ and the bran is very very high in nutrients and so today we're going to talk a little bit about flour because flour makes bread and you know throughout all history bread was the main staple for human beings for life whether you go back into Egyptian ancient history or you go in the Bible, give us this day our daily bread, it was the staple of nourishment for people. But something's happened and it's become something that people don't eat any longer. And we're going to talk a little bit why, about why that is. You know, in about the 1930s, they began to bleach flour and highly process it. And so I want to take a look at some different flowers today and talk about what's in them. But the bleaching process actually has a number of chemicals. And there are chlorines, bromates, peroxides, azodicarbonamide, which you can barely say that. And then there are other chemicals that result from using those that are residual, like alloxin that's been shown to cause diabetes. And so these are things we really do not want to get in our body. Uh, all of these bleaching agents have been banned in the European Union, the UK, in China, and in Canada for many, many years, the European Union since the 1990s, but yet we have it here. And you know, to me, if something's not good for you in Alaska, it's probably not good for you in Texas either. And so I don't know why it's it's done like that and it's set up like that still but these are things i want to stay away from and you should stay away from uh, when we go to the store and we buy food to nourish our bodies we have to really be wise at looking at the ingredients and figuring out what we want and what we don't want so i'm going to show you in these flowers what the ingredients actually say and this first one is going to be pillsbury best all-purpose flour i'm going to try to keep the flour off of me the best i can so this ingredient say bleached wheat flour, niacin, iron, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, enzyme, it contains wheat ingredients, so that's good. <laughs> Hopefully it contains wheat. But the reason why these other vitamins or so-called vitamins are in there are because they're actually required to put them in there because during the bleaching process and the processing, it completely strips the grain uh, and the flour of all the nutrients that were in it and they're required to put them back in there. There's actually a regulation in Title 21 of the Code of Federal Regulations in Section 137.105 regarding flour and specifically what they have to add back in. You know, there's another ingredient you'll see often called malted barley and the reason why is because it's required to put this processed barley back in to make up for certain vitamins that had been taken out and there's actually a sentence in there that actually says to compensate for any natural deficiency of enzymes malted wheat malted wheat flour malted barley flour or any combination of two or more of these may be used and then it goes on and details all the specifics about that so many of these ingredients are actually required to be put in there because the nutrients had been stripped. And they've also, with, in the case of the bleach flour, they've had the chemical residues left in them. And they've been shown in studies with lab animals to cause cancer. And so we really want to stay away from things like that that have anything like that in them. And also that have absolutely no nutritional value. The natural wheat that's ground up has the full nutritional value. And if you go to the store and you wanna buy something like that because you don't have a wheat grinder yet, but you, maybe you plan to get one, but until you do, you can get wheat flour that has the entire nutritional value still in it. 
if you buy 100% whole grain, whole wheat flour. Now this is organic, so it wasn't uh, have any, didn't have any sprays put on it or anything like that in the fields. And in the ingredients, it actually says certified 100% organic hard red whole wheat flour. Nothing else. That's completely it. So I'm going to put this in the bowl and show you how it compares to the one that I freshly ground. Now you also want to make sure when you buy this, once it's ground, it is perishable. It's much like an apple when you cut into it and it starts to oxidize and turn brown right away. These things break down too, so they're going to have a date on the top. And this is best if used by January 20, 2022. So they are perishable and they are in paper. And so freshly ground is the very best. But you, to do the best you can, you want to buy the one that is going to be the, the freshest and they'll keep a long time and so when you look at that it's actually a little more finely ground than than the one i ground but it's very close to the same and it's the entire wheat kernel so these type of things if you make your bread with them they're going to give your body the nourishment that it needs to heal your body keep you healthy and well contrasted with that we're going to go over here and pour some of this pillsbury flour in that's been bleached and it'll have chemical residues in it and it's also going to have been re-enriched the problem with the re-enriching is those vitamins or so-called vitamins actually are only being put in there to meet the regulation they're not putting extra goodness from themselves saying we want to help you more and putting extra things in there because they cost money they're doing it to meet the regulations and they get it from the, the sources that meet those regulations the cheapest that they can can get and so for instance the B vitamins will come from places like the petroleum industry and they actually get something from them that they can uh, qualify as B vitamins and but they're not the same B, B vitamins that we're getting out of the out of the natural wheat kernel uh, for instance iron will actually come right from the steel industry and so this isn't quite the iron we're getting inside of the wheat kernels either and so these vitamins these synthetic vitamins and chemicals and things that they put back in to meet the regulations are not going to be the nourishment for your body that that original wheat was and that's why we got to stick with the whole wheat kernel it, with this other flour it's called self-rising flour they actually put in leavening or so-called leavening because the actual real real meaning of leavening always was and has been to a substance that will actually neutralize the gluten and unlock the nutrients of the of the wheat so that they assimilate better into your body which they do with the natural process of fermentation and we're going to get into that later why we want to ferment all the amazing really magical properties that take place in fermentation to to create nutrition in your body and actually wipe out toxins that are in the substance but this so-called leavening is actually a different type of of uh, thing that's put in there to create air just to make it fluffier and the things that they use to do that it does not unlock nutrients it does not neutralize any gluten but there's sodium bicarbonate sodium aluminum phosphate monocalcium phosphate and so these things there was one sodium aluminum phosphate that ought to ring some alarms in your in your mind because that aluminum is actually in there and has been shown to cause Alzheimer's and so these are things we don't want to put in our body they're not nourishment additionally to that that leavening it has enriched bleached wheat flour so we're saying well what is that well it's bleached it was originally wheat just like the other one so it's going to have those chemicals that are actually banned in other parts of the world uh, utilized to do that it's going to have been stripped of the nutrients and then they're going to try to add it back in from sources you really don't want uh, to partake of in your body you might go and say well i'll tell you what i don't want to do that anymore so i'm going to buy unbleached all-purpose flour so is that healthy let's see what's in that we have wheat flour 
And then niacin, a B vitamin, iron, diamond mononitrate, riboflavin, enzymes, folic acid. Well, why are these other vitamins in here? The only reason you'll ever see vitamins in there like that are because they're being required to add them back because they stripped them. And so in the processing of this, they may not have bleached it, so it may not have chemical residues like those other ones from those uh, specific chemicals, but th they did take out the germ and the bran, which contain most of the nutrients, and so those nutrients have been completely taken away and it's left with only the endosperm which they do that to make it light and fluffy but at the cost of all the nutrients and at the cost also of the remaining product spikes your blood sugar and so these are things that really were never even meant to eat and so when you buy something that says unbleached wheat flour but it's completely been enriched with back with other vitamins in there you have to know right away that that flour has been uh, refined and has been stripped of the nutrients and other nutrients from other sources have been put back in that's not what we want to do for our nutrition and so always remember that if you buy 100 percent whole grain whole wheat flour that is going to give you the entire the entire wheat kernel with the entire uh, nutritional amount that has been put there by nature has been put there by God and will nourish your body and make you well. Uh, I want to take a quick look at the self rising flower and we'll see what that looks like real quick. <laughs> it looks something like wallpaper paste really. <laughs> it's just about the same. And so these things are going to make a big difference in your life, in your health and if you can just begin to put real food into your body, your body will respond back to you and you will become healthier as you were supposed to be and keep yourself free from sickness and get yourself strong and make you, give, you, give you a positive life, a positive uh, feeling, a well, sense of well-being as your body's really getting the food that it wants, desires, needs and which you should really watch out and do for yourself. I appreciate your support. I really want to get this out to other people. Everyone really needs to hear this. And you know, there's so many other products in the grocery store that contain all these type of things. Uh, this is this is the base um, product that built that makes so many other things that are in the grocery store. And we're going to talk about all those things. We're going to go into cereals. We're going to go into many other things. But little by little, you're going to begin to learn and understand what you should be putting in your body and what you should stay away from. And once you have it down, it's going to be profitable for you and really simple and easy for you to do. I thank you for your support. I really want to get this out to other people. If you hit the like button down below, that will happen. They'll send it to more people. And also hit the subscribe button. You'll find out very first when these videos come out. I look forward to making them and I'll see you next time.